The TR4 Communications Committee of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development is joining forces with telecommunications providers Digicel and Flo to disseminate critical Fusarium Wilt TR4 information via text messages to all their customers. In a time when heightened sensitization is required, their corporate responsibility as partners in promoting food security while safeguarding the livelihoods of countless individuals cannot be overstated. Digital Services Executive Dwayne Christoph says this collaboration underscores their commitment to supporting agriculture and food security initiatives. We at Digital decided to partner with the ministry based on the importance of this message to put it out there to the public. And we realized that the livelihoods of many persons will be affected if this um, threat is not kept away from our shores. And we at Digital decided to partner with the ministry to get the message out there to the masses of St. Lucia and we have a number of subscribers we can reach via text message and we decided to partner the message to get that message out there to inform St. Lucians of this threat and what we can do is to support I think that's part of our corporate social responsibility to get the message out there and it would be good in terms of what the impacts would be just imagine that green fig is no longer in St. Lucia that would be a major disaster and I think we want to avoid that at all costs and uh, it's a no-brainer. Chairperson of the TR4 Communications Committee, Winston Elliott, commends the telecommunications companies for their commitment to supporting this national interest awareness activity. He also explains that a simulation exercise in the event TR4 were to reach our shores will also be conducted simultaneously. Because this has to do with livelihoods and food security and there are a lot of people that depend on the banana industry, the planting industry, uh, just look at what has happened. We had a, a tropical storm four, four months ago and people are still feeling the impact of not having um, green fig and plantains readily available because of the scarcity. The prices to a certain extent has gone up. And just could you imagine if we do not have plantain and we do not have green figs on our shelves, it's going to be a huge impact on food security and this can adversely affect the impact of several, several households throughout the island, whether we talk about the Denry Valley, we talk about uh, Roseau or Crownlands. All of those persons, a number of farmers can be affected. There are a lot of people that depend on those persons and depend on that industry. For the livelihood. While the Agriculture Ministry continues its efforts to combat the threat of TR4, Mr. Elliott says the key to safeguarding the agricultural landscape lies in collective responsibility to avoid unauthorized imports and promptly report any concerning developments in farming communities. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Anton reporting.